Hello, how's it going? Welcome back to some more F1 Manager 2022 and another part of our Aston Martin career mode. Today we are back with the Dutch Grand Prix in Zandvoort. The championship is hot and up. We took a brand new engine with Fernando Alonso last time out and that was a, uh, a bit tricky uh, for him to get back through the field in Spa. Uh, managed to get some points, which is brilliant, but his lead has been chopped down to 31 points over Max Verstappen. Pierre Gasly still well behind uh, Fernando, 63 points behind, so... He's going to need a miracle because he's going to have to take an engine uh, probably at this Grand Prix, to be honest with you. A lot happens here. We're, we're expecting a safety car. So, yeah, it's it's going to be interesting. Leave a like if you're enjoying. Thank you very much for the support on the series so far and your continued support and engagement on the series. It really does mean the absolute world to me. So keep it coming. Uh, keep leaving a like, all of that good stuff. And without further ado, let's get ourselves into the action and uh, see how we get on. So, uh, Pierre Gasly, first uh, things first, does have a development point, so we are going to add it to his reactions. Uh, Fernando Alonso doesn't have one, but uh, Oscar Piastri does. So let's pop it onto his adaptability. Uh, Staff-wise, nothing for any of them. Um, and well, we need to we need to have a look at what's coming up today. So we've got manufacturing happening. Other than that, not too much really. But uh, yeah, let's keep going. Manufacturing of the rear wing is done. Okay. Awesome. Right, okay then. Here we go. Let's uh, review our targets. So, uh, qualifying position, we'll say both drivers will finish in the top six. Uh, and both drivers will reach Q3. That is pretty much guaranteed, I think. Uh, we will say we'll get the fastest lap. And we'll do a qualifying streak of both drivers finishing in the top six for five Grand Prix. And uh, let's get ourselves into the action. So here we go for this weekend's Grand Prix. It's another historic weekend of Formula One here at Zandvoort. The track has seen many unforgettable moments, like Gilles Villeneuve's three-wheeled lap at the 1979 Dutch Grand Prix, which cost him victory. What excitement lies ahead this year? There's never a dull moment at Circuit Zandvoort. It's fast, very fast, with long straights and wide curves. But it also features two heavy banked corners where aerodynamic improvements are sure to help our drivers. With the season nearly concluded, time is running out for the team. Can anyone make a last minute breakthrough? Can the leading drivers hold on? Only time will tell. The weekend begins here. Okay, it's going to be uh, an excellent Grand Prix. I think it's always cracking rounds on board, so looking forward to it. Uh, Strategy-wise, we are expecting to use the soft tyres. Uh, maybe a soft, medium, soft could be good. So we'll definitely be getting involved in qualifying, um, and we'll see where Gasly and Co. end up. Um, yeah, let's uh, get into the action. Well, pace is looking incredibly close this weekend. Once again, you can see... Uh, Perez all the way down to Vettel in P10, only four tenths between us all. Lots of uh, grid penalties, one for Lewis Hamilton, one for Vettel, uh, Ricardo and Schumacher as well. Um, set of confidence, we seem to have gone the wrong way with Fernando Alonso. He, he had a pretty decent setup and then we um, didn't sort him out for P3, which is... Uh, really annoying actually so need to try and sort that out get things to being optimal it's probably about right okay I know we won't get the performance boost, but I think it's important that we get the setup right this weekend. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. Uh, Pierre Gasly, 
Might as well do the same with him. Yeah, that looks pretty decent. So, uh, Pierre Gasly, both of them running uh, untested parts. Is Gasly going to take a new engine? Hmm. I think we perhaps decide after Q1 and, and see where he is in Q1. Because if he's going to be right near the front, then perhaps we can leave it until Monza. Right. Okay then, let's get ourselves into qualifying, simulate the first session, see how we get on. <laughs> well, Pierre Gasly quickest, Fernando Alonso down in P9, not fantastic. 95% uh, on the confidence for each of them, so I think it was worth doing to make sure that we had a good car for the weekend. Um, into Q2 then, we'll try and use some used softs. I mean, potentially we can keep both of them for Gasly for the race. Yeah, very, very tricky, isn't it? Yeah, because Gasly has the, the, the qualities for Paul. So we'll send them out on used tyres. We'll give them a nice blank piece of track. It's always very difficult to make the decision. So we'll send Fernando out first, championship leader. And then Pierre Gasly as well. So, let's see what they can produce. Fourth and uh, sixth. I missed that. Sorry, I was uh, <laughs> I was uh, looking at other parts of the screen. Uh, but got fourth and sixth. That should Copy. be Peter enough three. to get through. I think Perez uh, looking in trouble at the moment. Copy. Yeah. I mean, do we use use tyres in, in Q3? Try and keep the the fresh ones for the race. Uh, session is over. Could potentially do that. Anyway, here they come over the line. Drop them down slightly, but only to 5th and 7th. But we are through to Q3. And that's the main thing. So. I'm going to use used soft tyres. We're going to do that in the first run. And see where we end up. And whether we need to be... Copy. Whether we need to be doing two runs. So here we go then. We'll let them out there. So let's uh, hop on board with Pierre Gasly. He's on used tyres. Hoping to keep two brand new sets for tomorrow. And that's a purple first sector, so he's quicker than Fernando Alonso, which is fantastic. Now coming around the middle sector. This is where we've had some excellent battles over the years with DRS. Defending into this corner, purple again, of course. What about Fernando Alonso? Where's he going to fit into all of this? He's purple in the middle sector. 
So here we go then. Pierre Gasly throws it round the final corner now. And what can he manage as he comes up to the line? He's going to be in the one minute uh, sixes, is he? One minute seven. One minute seven point three. What about Fernando? He comes up to the line. It's a one minute seven point two. And that puts him on pole position for the moment. We'll see what other people can produce. Vettel only P3, Ricardo P4, Ocon now replaces him P4. And it's going to be Leclerc up to the line, he only goes P5. Hamilton up to the line, starting his lap. Perez now, starting his lap. What about Max Verstappen? Max Verstappen comes up to the line, he takes pole. Very good from him as Hamilton goes P3, so he splits the two cars. Signs! takes pole position what about Perez he comes up to the line and he goes p3 so we're fourth and sixth at the moment I think new tires would potentially give us pole position it's very difficult to tell though so I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it and we'll start on those tires in tomorrow's race So everybody's going to start coming out for their final run. Is Alonso going to have enough time? He should just about. So let's hop on board with him. He's going to come around the final corner. We'll keep an eye on Pierre Gasly's progress. Can we lock out the front row here? Is that Charles Leclerc that's leading the way? No, it's Carlos Sainz. Is he doing any better on this lap? Oh, he is. He is, actually. Green and purple. For Carlos Sainz in the first two sectors. He's coming around the bank and now. And what's he going to manage as Gasly goes green in the first sector? Sainz comes up to the line. Can he improve? No, he can't. Unlucky. What about the Red Bull? Red Bull coming up to the line. I think that's uh, Verstappen. He doesn't improve. Ocon doesn't improve. Leclerc comes through. He goes second. What a lap from him. Two greens from Pierre Gasly. And he's coming around now. He's going to be the last one over the line that can really make any impact. We're fifth and seventh as it stands as Pierre Gasly comes around the final corner. Let's see what he can manage as he comes up to the line. It's a 172 which puts him up to fifth. Fernando Alonso now comes round. He's improving as well. You'll expect him to maybe go up to third here as Fernando Alonso comes up to the line. It's a 17266, which is oh so close to Pierre Gasly, but it will be P6 in the race tomorrow. Six drivers within a tenth of a second, um, but it's Noah's Ark for the race tomorrow. Carlos Sainz and Charles Leclerc, first and second. Verstappen and Perez, pit three and four. Pierre Gasly and Fernando Alonso, five and six. The drivers are strapping themselves in, ready for race day. Aston Martin performed well during the qualifying session and they're rewarded with a good grid position for the race. This weekend, Red Bull displayed real promise during qualifying. But will they fulfill that potential by the time they reach the checkered flag? And the sky is looking grey and cloudy today. An effective tyre strategy could prove very valuable as the race plays out. So let's see how the teams tackle this race today here at the Dutch Grand Prix. Right then, let's see what we can pull off here. It's going to be a cracking Grand Prix, that's for sure. Now, let's see. So Pierre Gasly, if we went for the... Yeah, medium hard. We'll go medium hard with Pierre Gasly, um, starting from P5. Fernando, we're going to go for something a little bit different, a little bit more adventurous with it, the soft, medium, soft. Um, and we'll start on those soft tyres. Or do we start on the medium and then we can convert if necessary. We can perhaps take those mediums a little bit further. 
Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. Okay, so medium soft soft for Fernando Alonso. And then medium uh, hard for Pierre Gasly. They're going to be coming in on the, the same lap pretty much. Let's uh, add in some extra fuel for both of them. And we're going to attack from the off. And see what we can do. We're going to decide at a, at a later point when to take a, an engine with Pierre Gasly. It's a bit of a cloudy day for the race, but the atmosphere as ever is electric. And there we have Pierre Gasly. Not as close to the front as they might have wished for, but we know the race order can change a lot during those first few corners. And here's Alonso, the team's second driver. They're in the front half of the pack, so there's plenty of potential for them. The teams are ready to go. Here we go, it's the Dutch Grand Prix. It's lights out. Lights out, away and we go. We Carlos go. signs off to a good start. Is Charles Leclerc going to manage? He's on soft tyres. But uh, Carlos signs off to a very, very strong start and he gets this race underway very, very well. Pierre Gasly, meanwhile, has dropped a position to Esteban Ocon uh, lower down the field. But it is a uh, frantic start as Charles Leclerc now side by side with his teammate as they run up the hill they're going to be side by side Leclerc has got soft tyres Carlos Sainz has got medium tyres Fernando Alonso past Sergio Perez and it is still Carlos Sainz in the lead what a brilliant uh, bit of driving from both of the Ferrari drivers to make sure that they didn't take each other out at the start of this Grand Prix Fernando Alonso now down the inside of Sergio Perez he goes Leclerc still side by side with uh, Carlos signs and he's going to have a look around the outside here what's going to happen oh they're still side by side and Charles Leclerc takes the lead of this Grand Prix can Carlos signs respond before the banking no he can't and now Fernando Alonso side by side with Max Verstappen he's going to take third place in this Grand Prix and we have got four drivers within a second of each other as they go into lap two, Fernando Alonso goes down the inside of Max Verstappen. And while Charles Leclerc leads this Grand Prix, Pierre Gasly back into sixth place, by the way. And he's now having a little look at Sergio Perez. We're on the medium tyres, of course. Uh, and look at that. About uh, a 50-50 split of who is on mediums, who is on softs. George Russell on a brand new set of soft tyres, uh, just to let you know. Uh, but Charles Leclerc leading this Grand Prix Fernando Alonso in third at the moment he's chasing his good friend Carlos Sainz this could be the, the, one, one of those three is who you're going to see in the car next season are we going to keep Fernando Alonso in the seat for a third consecutive year looking to presumably get a fifth world championship if he manages to win this year's uh, title or are we going to go for the uber consistent Carlos Sainz or are we going to go for the young gun, Charles Leclerc? So here we go, uh, round the final corner then. Fernando Alonso doing a great job behind the top two. And he now goes on to the DRS lap, right in the gearbox DRS of Carlos Sainz. We've got uh, Pierre Gasly in P6. He's following Perez and Verstappen. I'm, I'm imagining this top six will pull away, but uh, Ocon, Russell, etc., they won't be too far behind, you wouldn't have thought. But uh, what a terrific start. And once again, Fernando Alonso just biding his time behind these two front runners in the Ferrari. And he'll be looking to potentially pick up his ninth win of the season. It was a dominant start of the year. Been a little bit leaner recently. But with his fresh engine under his belt, can he? use the power that that will give him. DRS enabled for the first time in this Grand Prix and Carlos Sainz already having a look at his teammate Charles Leclerc but we're going to come round onto the banking and it's Charles Leclerc that's going to really feel left out in this he's the only one of the top six on those soft tyres. Remember Fernando Alonso will be two stopping today a little bit different compared to the other four and here he goes with the DRS. It's uh, going to be intense going into turn one. 
but doesn't manage to, to have a goal. So, time to zoom it forward a little bit as we're four laps into this Grand Prix. The top eight very much glued together in a bit of a DRS train here. And I think that the difference in strategy for Fernando Alonso is definitely going to pay off if we're honest. And well, Fernando Alonso has managed or did briefly manage to get up into P2. Let's have a look at this. Uh, the battle and side by side and look at this round the middle he goes three wide Looks as they like go the up the hill can Fernando Alonso the hold it and can he get into the lead of this Grand Prix oh ho oh, oh, ho this is close this is so close this could be a huge incident oh and Leclerc stays and he sticks it on the outside they're still side by side Alonso and signs this is unbelievable racing but Alonso has the inside line and I think he's going to be through here. Is he going to have DRS? Yes, he is. So he can pull away from Carlos Sainz, his uh, compatriot. But Charles Leclerc is right in with a chance here. Pierre Gasly, meanwhile, struggling to stay with this opening group. But he's going to have to make sure that he is looking after his tyres. So I'm going to go light with Pierre Gasly. After this tire set, though. And after now, okay. Fernando Alonso pushing hard. He's trying to defend from Carlos Sainz, who's going to fly straight back through into the lead of this Grand Prix. Uh, no, sorry, that is uh, Charles Leclerc. Of course, Sainz was the one that we overtook uh, earlier in the lap. Very, very hard to keep up. We have got the two Red Bulls of Verstappen and Perez right behind in uh, fourth and fifth then we got Pierre Gasly following them up the hill in sixth but looking after his tyres hopefully that's the plan anyway so Fernando Alonso will hopefully get a chance to get past Charles Leclerc once again his uh, pit window will be opening in 21 laps time Pierre Gasly's in 21-2 So into the bank and we go and this is going to be a great chance for Fernando Alonso to get back past Charles Leclerc and then potentially push on so here we go then on to lap 8 of this Dutch Grand Prix here goes Fernando Alonso he pulls to the inside is he going to have a look down that inside well, stays close but can't get past for now so time to zoom it through a little bit Fernando right behind Charles Leclerc. Is he going to make the move stick this time? No, still locked behind. And Pierre Gasly struggling to keep up with these guys. Wow, Fernando has took the lead. Aston Martin with a great play there. They've moved up a place. So let's see. We can take a look now. So this was the Aston Martin. Yeah, it was just a simple DRS move. Went round the outside of Charles Leclerc and he is through. And that's what we're talking about. Let's have a look at uh, Leclerc's tyres. 70%. He's going to struggle. Starting on these soft tyres. Pierre Gasly dropping like a fly here. Not really saving the tyres too much. So I think he needs to, to push on now. And try and get back within DRS range. Looks like he's going to do that. As Fernando Alonso loses Looks out of like Leclerc, Aston but Martin. it is very much Just the... Usual DRS train, really. And that was Max Verstappen, I think. Oh, and Ferrari just gained a place. That ran wide there. So now Pierre Gasly right behind line. Max Verstappen. Should be able to get through. Alonso puts in fastest lap. What about Gasly? Can he get past? 
It's a can, so he's passed. Max will stop him now. Okay, hold well on. Fernando back past Carlos Sainz. So Gasly trying to follow Verstappen back up to the the group in front. As Alonso and Sainz just battling lap after lap Ferrari, for position. Advance the race position. So George Russell is in the pits, as is Norris and Hulkenberg. So we have got some early pitters here. And the player's starting to hold people up because he's on 40% tyres. So that's interesting. Alonso and uh, Sainz still battling away. Which I just find incredible. Pierre Gasly and Max are stepping side by side. And that's okay, he's through. Alonso still pushing on here. Still doing exactly what we're asking of him. They're both coming in lap 31 essentially. And there's Fernando. Oh, I thought he was going to have a look around the outside, but good defence from Carlos. And nobody has gone into the wall yet, which has been the usual with this race in the past. Fernando right in the slipstream of Carlos Sainz. I think we'll manage to get past here. No, he doesn't. So not the best, but the top four starting to pull away from Pierre Gasly in P5. still ahead of Max these four pushing each other to new limits so time to zoom it forward again it's Alonso typically makes it past Carlos Sainz straight away I reckon Sainz is going to be straight back through though and that is going to be a race long battle between two fantastic Spanish drivers now Leclerc and Perez. Bit of a conundrum for Perez. He needs to get past Leclerc, really. Oh, somebody's in the wall. Somebody's in the wall, okay. and the safety car is out. Safety car, safety car. So we're going to bring in Fernando Alonso. Positive. We're going to put the used Copy. soft tyres on. We're going to bring in. Pierre Gasly onto the hard tyres, so Vettel had crashed at turn one, and Vettel is out of this Grand Prix. So, time to conserve everything up. Fernando leading this Grand Prix, he's going to be coming in from the lead. And I think Gasly's just far enough back. That He's going to have big benefits here from the double stack. So here we go then. Back it out, back it out. Fernando Alonso coming around the final corner. He's going to be first Stay into the pits. We do require a few lift off. So here we go. Yeah, and Leclerc's in as well. Not for signs though. Copy. Be that three. So Alonso is in. Okay, copy. Pierre Gasly into the pit lane as well. 
Is it going to hold up the Ferrari? Not quite. So Alonso comes out behind the Ferrari. Come on. Yeah, Gasly away as well. I think behind Ocon. So this is really interesting. Alonso's come out behind Daniel Rick. So now I think we need to zoom it forward until everybody's picked up by the safety car, essentially. Now, is anybody else coming in? Doesn't look like it. So we've got some soft tyre runners running we've much further in. We were going to come in on lap 31. So safety car will safety be in car this lap. In this lap then. Safety car is in this lap. Push. Okay. Let's push. So let's Copy. see what Fernando Alonso can do here. We do not require any fuel lift off. Copy. Safety car in. Okay, copy. Here we go then. Is Fernando going to be able to make the move? Come on. It's green flag. Here we go. Come on. He's going to go down the inside, I thought. Oh, ho, ho, that was pretty close. Pierre Gasly, meanwhile, he's having a little look. But Fernando goes down the inside of Daniel Ricciardo. That turns into the outside line, up the hill. So Alonso's through, he needs to make it through these guys pretty quickly if he's going to make this strategy work. This is kind of the last thing he wanted really, was to go away from the plan. So we've got Carlos Sainz leading the way, then Perez, Verstappen, Joe and Charles Leclerc so here comes Fernando Alonso he's going to go down the inside of Kevin Looks Magnussen like here he is through and now he's having a look at Charles Leclerc he's going to be all over the back of him as uh, Pierre Gasly manages to make it past as well such an awesome job mate so here we go then Fernando Alonso now having a look at Charles Leclerc this could be a move around the outside here. But no, Leclerc makes it stick. Pierre Gasly trying to get round Kevin Magnussen now. I think. Charles Leclerc is on the medium tyres. Oh no, he's on the hards, so... Could he be going to the end of the race there? There's Pierre Gasly now trying to go around the outside of Kevin Magnussen. We'll have the inside line now. That's pretty good. Yeah, so here we go then. Final couple of corners. Can Fernando get past? The Alfa Tauri here. Yeah, that's pretty good. So now DRS will be enabled. And everybody dropping back now. DRS is enabled. So time to, to push on a little bit. And see what our guys can produce and oh, constantly closing in on Charles Leclerc think this is going to be the lap that is fastest lap so fastest lap now I'm going to harvest the energy okay, copy. Essentially, try and push on a little bit. Just charge the pack. Yeah, copy, mate. Yeah, 
This is okay. Still trying to look after the energy. It's nearly there. Oh, and Ferrari just gained a place. So I'm going to deploy from the bank. Recharge on, please. So here we go then with Fernando Alonso. 36 laps into this Grand Prix. We are halfway through the race. Let's pull to the inside. Come on, matey. That's it. And now down the inside he goes of Charles Leclerc. That's a very, very good move. And he is through. And now he needs to deploy. Now he needs to get away. This is awesome work, come on. Which is exactly what he's going to do. Charles Leclerc is going to try and stay with him. But he's not going to manage it. So we are low on battery at the moment. Copy. Okay. Let's see what we can do here here yeah, Gasly has dropped off a little bit to be fair it's not fantastic yeah, I think we need to, to go back to, to neutral I think Ferrari are just quicker this weekend I, I think yeah. that's what we have to almost accept with all of this but uh, Alonso doing an okay job as it stands He's going to struggle now to stay in front of Charles Leclerc. But it is a, a ridiculous order, isn't it? We've got Ocon up in fourth, which isn't that much of a surprise this season. Uh, Giovinazzi, Albon, Norris and Hulkenberg, though, in the top ten. And that's pretty amazing, really. Here we go then. Fernando Alonso is going to be straight back past. This is good stuff. And now Pierre Gasly starting to close in a little bit as well. This guy just just gone mental. Now is Leclerc going to have enough? And they go over the DRS. Looks like Aston Martin have just Line. gained a race position.
Well, this is a good battle <laughs> between Alonso and Leclerc. Now, how far away are we from his pit window? Ah, we don't actually know. Um, we'll have to play around with the strategy then for Fernando. So, yeah, he's uh, used those tyres pretty quickly, hasn't he? Um, so, yeah, he's going to have to come in perhaps around about... I don't want him to end up on no tyres, basically, by the end of the Grand Prix, so... Let's suffer a little bit more on these tyres. Give them fresher ones towards the end. And see if we can attack a little bit more. Yeah, let's go for that. There might be another safety car, which might change everything. That's going to be absolutely fine. So here we go. Not quite, not quite managing it. Still following pretty close. And Pierre Gasly's going all the way to the end of the Grand Prix. He might manage that. He might manage that. Um, but let's zoom it forward. Oh, somebody's uh, in the in the wall. It's one of the McLarens. I think it's Bottas. He's lost his front wing. Yellow flag ahead. Yellow so flags ahead. no, okay. no safety car. Pretty lucky there. And that didn't happen. Now Gasly, two point four behind this little battle. It's so tough. As I say, there could be a safety car at any moment, really. Gasly's starting to close in a little bit on this on this battle. So by default, the ones behind are Aston as well. Martin with a great play there. They've moved up a place. If Gasly can get involved in this battle, that'll make Alonso's job a little bit easier. Alonso still staying side by side. Let's uh, hop on board with this one side by side. Look at this from these two. But Alonso staying in front. He's doing a terrific job on these soft tyres. It's not quite going the right way for Alonso in this Grand Prix. We took track position. It might come back to bite us towards the end of the Grand Prix, but look at Verstappen and Sainz, for instance. They are stuck. Perez is stuck in ninth place as well. It's, uh, it's not ideal. It really isn't ideal. So here comes Fernando Alonso then. He's still in the lead of this Grand Prix. Pierre Gasly closing in two seconds behind. We're on lap 45 of 72 of this Grand Prix. And somebody's crashed. Somebody else has crashed now. Who is that? That is Mick Schumacher, I think. Is he out? I don't think so. Yeah, safety, safety, car, car, is safety car is out. Safety car is out. Right. Keep it down, Positive and, uh, Where are taken. our cars? So Fernando Four. Alonso out there on soft tyres. Uh, hang on a second. We need to pause this. We need to pause and work out what on earth the strategy of Fernando Alonso was. We thought that one. Right. What if we were to pit now then? Do we have any medium tyres left? Do we have a new set? I mean, if we do, that's ideal. Do we, do we have that? Can I see me compounds left? Where do I see me compounds? I'm assuming he must have a brand new set then. So bring him in, put him on medium tyres. Um, Pierre Gasly, I'm assuming he must have a, a new set as well. He does, so let's get them both in then. Um, we'll bring him in this lap. Fernando Alonso will double stack them again. So Fernando Alonso will come in put on the medium tyres 
and he should come out ahead of the two Mercedes cars that's what I'm hoping for here so safety car is out gonna pop onto the medium tires we're gonna do the same with Pierre Gasly okay lane. copy and Fernando Alonso will uh, sorry um, Charles Leclerc will take the lead of this Grand Prix so here comes Fernando Alonso He's away, Pierre Gasly straight in behind for the double stack. Okay, Fernando Alonso's behind the two Mercedes cars. Might be behind Ocon as well. But if we can get out ahead of the Alfa Romeo with both cars, that would be the ideal scenario. Gasly's coming round, it's going to be close for Gasly. Oh, he comes out just behind uh, Giovinazzi. So that was pretty close. Um, to, to being exactly the situation right uh, Charles Leclerc is in first position we've got uh, Hamilton in P2 then uh, George Russell in P3 Ocon is P4 Fernando Alonso P5 Gio is in P6 followed by uh Pierre Gasly in, in P7. Yeah, Mick Schumacher is out of the race. I, I did think perhaps he might be able to continue, but uh, right, let's get uh, let's get harvesting for both drivers. That's important. We need to Great conserve the tire uh, the fuel okay. as well, and if we can conserve the tires. The hot and temp's just gonna be some lift and coast. Might be Stop the it. only lap behind the safety car. This so. No, nope, we are going to have another lap. I thought we were. No, I think uh, safety car has ended, actually. Right. That's a problem. <laughs> Luckily, I noticed it in time. Let's uh, hop on board with Pierre. Safety we've, car is in yeah, we've got pretty new tyres. Copy. Safety car in. Copy. So what are we going to be able to do? Here we go then with Fernando Alonso. Is he going to be able to get past Ocon pretty quickly here on these brand new medium tyres? What we got? We got still another 23 laps to go in this Grand Prix, but those tyres should last us uh, decently till the end of this race. So very, very good decision to come in and get those tyres on, I feel. Because now we're going to be in, in a much better position than, than other folks by the end of this Grand Prix. So here we go with Fernando Alonso then. Is he going to be able to get past Ocon? Maybe not immediately. We're, I think we're going to have to wait for DRS to be able to enact this plan. So Russell's still in front of Ocon. We've got Leclerc pushing on at the front we've got Gasly past Looks like Aston Martin. Uh, Giovinazzi now and that's good without DRS so let's zoom it forward a little bit more DRS, DRS of course is now activated we have got some people in the pits including Russell, Hulkenberg, Norris So here we go. Side by side, Gasly and Alonso here. Alonso trying to get down the inside of Esteban Ocon. That is an awesome move from Fernando. That is brilliant from the world champion and the world championship leader. And Pierre Gasly looking to follow suit as well. Gasly's through. And both Aston Martins on the charge here. Third and fourth in this Grand Prix. Simply lovely. We have got Charles Leclerc leading the way. Lewis Hamilton is in second. Lewis Hamilton, remember, had a grid penalty. He is doing a terrific job out there. He's had his stop. He is doing a really good job on those uh, hard tyres. He's going to be able to go to the end of this Grand Prix. Now, Fernando Alonso is under pressure from his teammate Pierre Gasly. This is a bit of a battle, and Gasly gets in front what we do not want to happen here is these two trip over each other like they did in Silverstone but we're allow allowing them to race for now 
But if it gets ridiculous, we will have to enact team orders on whoever's in front. So, they're still side by side. They're still battling. It's risky. It is risky letting them race. But that is what the entertainment is about. We got 20 minutes, uh, t sorry, 20 laps to go in this Grand Prix. It's going to be pretty spicy, that is for sure. So now, Fernando Alonso. Back through on Pierre Gasly. Is he going to be able to make a move on the top two? They are slowly but surely catching them. But we still think Ferrari are pretty quick. Gasly's got DRS. Hamilton's got DRS on Charles Leclerc. So Hamilton takes the lead of this Dutch Grand Prix. But Leclerc manages to get away nicely. And Pierre Gasly not far behind. So let's zoom it forward. And see how quickly we can get into this battle. That looks like we're in it now. So here we go. Lewis Hamilton leading the way. Charles Leclerc is going to have DRS down the main straight. But Pierre Gasly is right in his gearbox at the moment. Gasly looking like the most likely to be the one to take the lead. New fastest lap for Pierre Gasly. They go down the inside and he's having a little look at Hamilton while he's at it here. This is uh, pretty damn spicy. So Pierre Gasly <laughs> is looking very, very racy behind Lewis Hamilton here. It's not quite going to happen. I think we're going to have to put them on balanced for now. Because uh, they're going to run out of fuel yeah. otherwise. So 18 laps to go. This is going to be an in intense battle, I think. So let's see what we can pull off here as we go around the bank once again and yeah I think Charles Leclerc is going to be overtaken here oh nearly we'll have to use that ERS towards the end of this Grand Prix they're going to go down the inside of Hamilton here oh what a move Alonso's going to have a little look as well as they go up the hill we've got yellow flags somewhere and I think it is uh, Ocon it's the other Alpine is he in the wall so no he's okay but Gasly now up the P2 he's gonna have a good look at Charles Leclerc here so here we go Pierre Gasly now is gonna retake the lead of this Grand Prix very, very good from the Frenchman. Simply lovely. Well, it's going to be a rest of the race long battle now. Awesome work. Come on. So Fernando seems to be passed. Yeah, mate. I don't have that pace. And here comes Hamilton again. It's a race position gained from Mercedes. So Alonso stuck in fourth at the moment. Pierre Gasly, meanwhile, I think Looks is like going to start Martin building a gap just gained a race position. on Charles Leclerc. But no, we're still pretty close. Fernando does have DRS is he going to make that move down the inside he does Fernando's through Fernando up into second so it's now an Aston Martin 1-2 in this Dutch Grand Prix Aston Martin with a great play there they've moved up a place and that is exactly what you want to see and now Fernando Alonso fastest with fastest lap retakes the lead but Gasly still side by side with his teammate and now the battle resumes between these two. And this is where we get nervous. And we think about Silverstone 2024. And think about when they took each other out. I'm hoping that won't happen again. Gasly, oh, having another look here down the inside. Oh, they're still 
fighting hammer and tongs here. Look at this. Still side by side and still somehow we managed to get more than a second ahead of uh, Charles Leclerc and Lewis Hamilton. So uh, Fernando Alonso leading this Grand Prix. Pierre Gasly is going to be retaking the lead, you would think, as they come round this final corner for the 58th time in this Grand Prix. It is uh, now Fernando Alonso leading the way. Pierre Gasly's got DRS. He's going to follow his teammate through. But not quite manage it at the moment. We are going to say, for now, I think, don't fight teammates. I just to pull a gap to the guys behind, uh, we're going to do that. So we're going to tell him to not pass his teammate. And we're going to try and build that gap out. I'm going to do that for the next few laps just to make sure that we get the 1-2 intact. Then, with five laps to go, we're going to give them everything, basically. We're going to give them absolutely everything. So, Fernando Alonso, we're going to give him his harvest. Um, and, yeah, as I say, I don't think Pierre should manage to, to get past him. That's absolutely fine. We're building the lead. We're building the the victory essentially here. So I'm gonna go neutral on that. And we'll, we'll zoom it forward. And then as I say, with about five laps to go, maybe three laps to go, we'll just give them everything that they can have. Everything at their disposal. They can attack the tires, they can do what they want basically and attack each other because I think I think they're, they're, they're in a league of their own now on these fresh tyres there's no way that on those old hards they're going to be able to to pull it out here and get back into the, the battle so you can see Gasly's just desperate to get past but he's not allowed just yet So here we go then, this is the final five laps. We're going to attack with the tyres of both drivers. We're going to push, we're going to push the engine and we're going to enjoy these final five laps. So five minutes essentially of this race remaining. So Fernando Alonso is leading the way. He's doing a terrific job. And now we will see who truly is the best. We will allow them to deploy the ARS as they go on to the final two laps. As soon as that ticks over to 71, that is when we're going to allow them to uh, utilize the rest of their, their energy. And hopefully we'll see a few absolutely fantastic battles. But here we go. First opportunity for Pierre Gasly to have a look. And his teammate Fernando Alonso. No luck there. But they're still absolutely going for it. I mean, we could have a photo finish here with DRS on the final lap. So here we go. DRS is enabled. And they're going to pull through on the lap 69 of this Grand Prix. Well. Uh, fastest lap of the race for Pierre Gasly. Now Fernando Alonso yep. comes into. P2, he's going to follow through. I'm going to continue to follow these as they go up the hill. And they're just so evenly balanced, these te these teammates. And they've done a fabulous job over the last two seasons as teammates together. Fernando Alonso often getting the better of Pierre Gasly. And well, Fernando will, will try and get straight back past Gasly if he can here. He's going to set him up for a, a pass at the bank, I think. And these tyres, although they're, they're going to get used, they're going to get abused. We know we are a long, long way ahead of anyone else. Hamilton, meanwhile, he is P3. And here we go then, Fernando Alonso with 
DRS is through. Three laps remaining. Three laps to go in okay. this Grand Prix. Who is going to come out on top in the battle of the Aston Martins? It's going to be a terrific battle between these two from now until the end of the race. And I cannot wait to see who manages to get it. It's going to be brilliant. It really is. So here we go. <clears throat> Pierre Gasly is in P2. And now he's going to have a DRS. Oh, he flicks to the inside. He's going to pass Fernando Alonso before the bank. That's risky. He's trying to mess with the rhythm, but they're still side by side. Fernando Alonso now still leads. And Pierre Gasly side by side with his teammate. This might work a treat because he's going to have DRS, but he's already through. And as I said, we're now going to deploy the ERS because it is the final two laps of this Grand Prix. Pierre Gasly with DRS, he now pulls ahead. He's half a second ahead of Fernando Alonso. They're going to have ERS. They've got everything at their disposal. It's basically now down to which man is better, which man is faster on the day. Is it going to be Pierre Gasly? Is it going to be Fernando Alonso? This is an absolute duel for the ages, basically caused by safety cars. We were not expecting them to be on exactly the same strategy in this race. It's turned out that uh, <laughs> both ways that they went are ending up exactly the same speed. So here we go then. Fernando Alonso staying behind Pierre Gasly for the moment. I think he's going to pass going on to the final lap of this Grand Prix. So lap 71 of 72 is complete. They come round onto the final straight to begin their 72nd lap of this Grand Prix. Fernando Alonso has just uh, okay, final lap. taken the, fi the fastest lap there and Alonso 109.0. Now, they've both got everything in their locker for this final lap of the Grand Prix. As I say, it could well be a photo finish because Gasly's going to have the DRS. Is he going to pass Fernando at the first possible DRS zone? If I was Gasly, I would stick behind and wait until the very end, but <laughs> you're then risking not passing him in time before the checkered flag comes. So this might be the best chance for Pierre Gasly. So here he comes. He has got DRS. He is going to have a little look at Fernando Alonso here. They are going to be side by side. Oh, a little bit squirrely into that corner from Gasly. I thought we could have an incident, but it looks like it's going to be Fernando Alonso. That comes around the final corner. But Pierre Gasly is going to have DRS. Neither of them have got any ERS left. Gasly pulls to the inside, but it's going to be Fernando Alonso who takes his ninth win of the season and he wins the Dutch Grand Prix and Pierre Gasly finishes second. That was absolutely awesome. Brilliant Grand Prix. And Fernando Alonso beats his teammate over the line. And that is what you call a very dominant victory for the Aston Martin team. It's a long time since we've had something go that well for us. Two safety cars today, though. That definitely helped. Um, and, of course, I think next time out in Monza, that's going to be where we're going to have to take a new engine for Pierre Gasly. But Alonso, once again, somehow finds a way to win. Yeah, we'll take it, mate. Fail 84, please, mate. Fail 84. So, uh, both Alfa Romeos in the points. Zhou Guan Yu in the points for Alfa Tauri. Unfortunately, the Williams cars not managing to get into the points today. Uh, George Russell finishing outside of the points. Verstappen finishing behind his teammate Perez. Hamilton uh, finishing fourth just behind Charles Leclerc. That was a, a very, very close battle throughout this race. But brilliant from Fernando Alonso. What a flawless weekend here from Fernando Alonso. His team must be proud.
This podium is a true recognition of everyone who's been working so hard for this result. And the talented veteran rounds off another great drive, adding to his impressive F1 podium tally. But remember, it's not just about today's trophies, it's the points that can make all the difference. Aston Martin, having an extremely good day at the track. Yeah, this was a really clever bit of strategy, and it's great to see that pay off. I can't wait to find out what they show us next time. After an intense weekend, the team ends in first place in the constructor standings. We now look ahead to the next round in Monza in Italy. The Temple of Speed is waiting, and the teams will be ready and raring to go. Well, there you go then. 1-2 for Aston Martin. Uh, very, very good. Uh, Charles Leclerc finishes in third. Lewis Hamilton, a brilliant fourth in the end. Perez fifth with Verstappen in P6 at his home Grand Prix. Sainz seventh. Joe Guan Yu eighth. Tonio Giovinazzi ninth. And Daniel Ricciardo in tenth. Meaning in the driver's standings, Fernando Alonso now 49 points ahead of his nearest rival, Max Verstappen. Pierre Gasly still in P3. Uh, Charles Leclerc, P4, ahead of Perez and his teammate Carlos Sainz. Lewis Hamilton uh, in P7, definitely having the better of George Russell this season. Uh, as we go down to the bottom end of the championship, only three drivers completely pointless this season, and that is Mick Schumacher, Lance Stroll and Nico Hülkenberg. Into the constructors then, and we have got... Uh, 82 point lead over Red Bull. Uh, Ferrari not far off the 300 point mark in third. Uh, Mercedes in P4 looking very, very strong. Uh, Alpine in P5 looking terrific as well. Battle for sixth is uh, definitely hotting up between McLaren, Haas, and Alfa Romeo. Williams still the only team to not score. Pierre Gasly uh, nearly having that. Uh, development point in there. Fernando Alonso got a, a new development point. It was a terrific race. 5.8 million in the bank for that race in profit. And uh, we are ready and raring to go into the next Grand Prix of the season, which will be in Monza, of course. So join me for that one in the next episode. If you have enjoyed that, give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for plenty more F1 Manager content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.